Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're making some Del Rin collets on my mini lathe. That's what's up next on Crickin' Around. Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're doing is we're making some Del Rin collets for making pool sticks. Uh, these can be used for about anything. You just don't want to mar up the wood, but for me it happens to be pool sticks. What they are is I'm taking, I think it's one and a half inch Delrin, and I'm coring the middle out, then turn the sides down really thin. What, we're gonna, we, we, what we did is left an edge on them right here, and then we slid them. So that way we can put them over, and we can adjust them down to where we want to. And then whenever we clamp this into the uh, lathe, uh, won't, it won't mar the wood up, because you can see, I mean, kind of see right there, the wind dents. I already, I already had a whoopsie, but whatever. Um, I'll fix it. So we we worked on these the other day. I got these two done. I'm currently working on the, the other ones for the butt section. Now I'm gonna need two two more. I'm gonna need one for there and one for there. So when I'm working on this end of the queue, but then I'll need one for about right there and one for right here. So when I'm working on the butt end of the queue, so I can put it in like this. Uh, they're all four different sizes, so they fit really good. So let's, well, I've already been working on this one, so let's get this one finished up. So we got four of them done. We got that one on the back side of the butt, that one on the joint side. Um, you look at it, this is two different color woods. That's not wobbly. Look at the butt joint. So for those collets, I'm really happy with the way they came out. Um, with the slit in them, they got full adjustability for different stages of building the stick. If it's a little bit bigger, I can um, just expand them out a little bit. I made them so they would be a little bit big on the queue when it's almost finished. Um, one other thing real quick. Um, you saw in my other video, I added this uh, rear lathe truck, rear lathe chuck from Q Components. I mean, if you're going to be doing any kind of work where you need a, a tail stock, check them out. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, but it's definitely for, it cost me like 190, 195. But it's definitely, it's worth it. And if you have the um, machining, I'm not very good at machining. This is my first lathe of this type. Um, those threads that are on there, if you can make you an adapter, it's gonna be even better because you'll be able to go straight to the back of, if your back of your lathe is threaded like mine is, you can go directly to it and then it's it's squared up right away um like i said in the other video that did take me a while to get it squared up uh but now that i got it squared up it's it's pretty nice um so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about hitting that like subscribe and share button it really helped the channel out uh we're gonna be doing more hopefully a lot more um videos with the little lays here and my taper shaper because I, as i get building sticks the taper shaper is going to be another one that's going to come into play. So hopefully we get, I still got to use this stuff, but hopefully within the next 
month or two, I'll start getting out some videos of hue making and heck any other projects. And my 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 desk being so dirty, it's just got, I've gotten so many new uh, attachments and tools for this lathe. I'm actually going to be re rearranging the shop again. Um, be putting some more stuff up here, but I might do a little video on that. But hey, until then, thanks for watching. See ya.